Hi everyone! Welcome to another Art Today PL program sponsored by the Friends of the Allen Public Library. Today we're doing resin flow art in a little tray. We're going to do some movie magic because there's some curing time in the middle, but we're going to show you how to do something pretty cool. We are going to be working with art resin today. There are lots of different brands out there, but essentially you want to have equal amounts of each of your resin and your hardener. We also have the small tray we'll be using. We have some resin tint, your very important gloves, some popsicle sticks for mixing. We have a graduated cup so we can measure exactly how much we have going on. And then some other random mixing cups for our different colors. So let's move some of this aside. If you got one of our take and make kits, your tray's gonna have this little blue lining on it to keep it nice and scratch free. Make sure you pull that off before you start. Otherwise, you're gonna look a little bit, well, a little artistic, I guess. Let's get some of this off, too. And we wanna make sure we put on our gloves. So the resin can damage your skin if you get it on there. So we're gonna make sure we're being safe and protected. All right, I have all my colors here. I'm gonna push those aside. And have our tray right here in the middle. Okay, for a little piece like this, we're only going to use about two ounces of our resin and two ounces of hardener, so four ounces total. Let me go ahead and measure that out. Here's my resin. Right at two ounces. And then we wanna make sure we have an equal amount of the hardener or it'll be the wrong consistency. So next, our hardener. Two ounces there. So there is a little bit of an odor to this. It's not very bad, but I wouldn't do it in like a closed closet probably. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a popsicle stick and my four ounces. We're going to have to stir this for at least three minutes. So we're gonna do some movie magic for you right now. Okay, three minutes up. You can see we've got lots of bubbles and stuff in here. Make sure that we're scraping the sides really well. Now I'm going to split this up into a few different cups so I can mix in my different colors that I want to do today. Let's see, so just kind of eyeball this. So again, we're just working with four ounces total you might not need all of it, depending on what design you're kind of thinking. But I'm just gonna kind of split all this up into different color mixing cups. Make a mess while I'm at it. Probably wanna lay down a um, drop cloth or a plastic. Oh no. There we go. All right, so the, our resin tints that we have, we have several different colors. I'm gonna start with a little bit of white and this one on my far left, maybe about 10 drops, a little bit goes a long way here. And then I wanna do, I think I'm gonna do something, some pretty purple today. And I want a really dark purple, so I'm gonna add some black in there too. and maybe a lighter purple. Put some white in it. And let's do some blue over here. Shake that up a little, there we go. Okay, so now we're gonna stir each of our colors in here. 
You can decide if you need a little bit more of the tint to it. Just that one. This was supposed to be our darker purple. Let's see. I'm gonna add some more purple to this one. It's looking a little muddy. That's pretty, okay. Next was our lighter purple. And we have a little bit of a blue over here. That's too light, I'm gonna add a little bit more. Blue. Maybe I'll mix blue and purple together. Okay, so once your colors look about the way you like, push these up. So we have our tray here. I'm gonna make sure I clean out some more of this blue stuff, goodness. Okay. Our first step, we're just going to pour the colors in. We're not gonna move them around at all. We're just gonna lay them in. So I'm gonna start with our darkest color here. I'm gonna start with this one. Oh, let's just pour it over on this part of our tray. I'll save a little bit of it just in case. And then I'm gonna do kind of our bluish purple. Kind of right next to it. Then our lighter color here. And then finally our whites up here at the top. Okay. So now we want to let this sit. This needs to sit and cure for 15 minutes. We're going to do a little more speeding up magic here. If we swirled it together too soon, it would just mix our colors rather than um, kind of swirling and blending our colors. So we're gonna let that sit for a little while and we'll be right back. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes. So now I'm going to take one of my popsicle sticks here and I'm gonna just kind of drag it through the different colors to kind of pull them together a little bit. So we're gonna kind of pull some of this darker color up. You can drag, you can push all the way down to the bottom or you can just throw the top layers. So you can see it's got a little bit of a transparency so you can see different layers even within, oh, well, that's a, that's just a creative little choice I made there by dripping. Okay, so now that we have this, you'll see on YouTube and um, some of the other bigger pieces, at this point, you see all these little bubbles here? People can take, you can take a, um, so I like a small butane torch, flamethrower or something crazy and burn out all these bubbles. I didn't think the library would appreciate me doing that. And with such a small piece, it doesn't really bother me that much having these little kind of imperfections in it. So this now, we're gonna kind of put it somewhere and cover it over with a little dust cloth that's not gonna touch the resin and let it dry overnight before it's totally hardened. So I'm gonna carefully move this aside. You wanna make sure when you're drying it that you have it on a level surface. I don't know if you can see here that this one, my practice one that I made was clearly tilted a little bit. So we're a little thinner over here and thicker over here. This is my finished one I did a few weeks ago. And so now we have a nice little tray for your car keys, jewelry, whatever else you wanna put in there. So that is how we do resin flow art. 
Again, if you got one of our kits from the library, you'll have all the supplies that you need to do this. Otherwise, some of the things that we used today, we used, um, it's called Art Resin, is the brand we used, but again, there are lots of other ones that are out there. But if you do one of our trays, if you did one of our kits, please send us pictures. We wanna see all the beautiful things that you made. I hope you had fun doing this today. We'll see you soon.